Well, here we are with the big wheel that everybody knows if you're studying electronics. This wheel confused me so much. And there are some things. This is the Ohm's law wheel. So let's see how we could uh, find out how to put these numbers in here because it's just confusing and you can't memorize all this stuff here. Some you could, like for instance, this Ohm law, Ohm's law section here, which is E divided by R equals I. Just put your hand over I, right? And then what you got is E divided by R. And E here is I times R. So let's see how we can work that out and put it up there. We're going to select the color red, okay? And then what we're going to do is uh, make like a check mark. Like for instance, E divided by R is I. So you go to I here. We got E divided by R. It's right here. See it? There and there. We got that one done, okay? E divided by I is R. So here you go. E divided by I is R. That is checked. Okay? So how do we get the other one? I times R is E. So for E, I times R is E. That's this one here. Checked. Okay? Now, that's all we know for this section here, okay? For this Ohm's Law. Those are the ones that are stated there. Now, you also should memorize this one here, which is P-I-E. Pi. Easy to remember. So, here we go. Pi. Power. Okay? It's I times E. So, let's go to I times E with power. See right here? Checked. Okay. And uh, also, P divided by I is E. Remember, power divided by current is voltage, which here you got the electromotive force, electromagnetic force going through there, okay? P divided by I is E. Let's get that one. P divided by I is E. See it? P divided by I is E. We got it here. Checked. Okay, we continue. P divided by E is I. P divided by E is I. See it there at about 2 o'clock? Bang, bang. We found that one. Okie dokie. And we already got the I times E. Boom, double check. P divided by I It's E. We got that one. And P divided by E is I. P divided by E is I. We all got checked. You notice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we go to the next one. So how in the world did I get these right here? These numbers here, this other, this other one. You know these right here from Ohm's Law, but these are also from not just Ohm's, it's called Joules. He's the guy that came up with this right here, okay? The formula, like I squared times R is power, he came up with that. So everybody's giving credit to Ohm's, which he came up with this one here, okay? Now let's continue. How do we get that? Well, if you notice, my little formula here, at top center, I equals a E divided by R equals a PE. Hey, how'd you come up with that? Okay, if you look at here, it says I on the bottom left hand, it says I, right? And over here, it says I also. So, we could make what you call an identity. The I equals to E divided by R, right? E divided by R. See it right there? E divided by R. And I is also equal to P divided by E. P divided by E. With these two numbers here, with these two equation uh, or what you say proportion, we could come up with this box right here. All this. And this is how you do it. This is something that I didn't understand before and now it came out so clear when you understand a little bit more about algebra and stuff like that. Okay, this is simple math. Okay, here we go. How we came up with E squared divided by P is R and E squared divided by R is P. 
This is how we do it. Since we already, now you know how we, we done this one here on top by these numbers, we say that. You see this E, the cross multiply, this times that, see it? E times E is E square, right? Like E times E is E square. That you should know. And that equals to R times P. They should be equal. So that should be equal. This ratio here is equal to this ratio here. And that's equal to I. So what we want to find out is what R is. Let's let's say find R. Like E squared divided by P. See it? E is right here, and E, that makes it E squared, see it? Cross multiply, E squared, divided by this one here, gives you this one here, which is R. E squared divided by P is R. And E squared di divided by P is R, and E squared divided by R is P. See it? Crisscross? That's how you get this nice... Uh, like Ohm's law chart here, like this graph, okay? And you know the rules already that this times this has got to be multiplied. And see the x I here I put in there? Some people make it with a line straight downward. And then this becomes like a divide here, see it? E divided by R is I. And we'll put some numbers later on so that way you can see it. Very simple, okay? Okay, we continue here. This is how I got I. Now you're going to get E. You look in these two here, this one and this one, you see E up here, right? See it? On that chart? And you see E down here. So E means it's equal to what? So E here is I times R, right? You see it? I, okay? I times R, see it right here? I times R. E is equal to I times R. Okay, what is E equal to in, in another place here? See it right here, E? P divided by I is equal to P divided by I equals to E. And it's the same thing. P divided by R is equal to I times R. So now we could use this here, the equation for E, to make this here. See it? The P up here, P up here. And I put it in this format so that way you could see it and understand it. I is here, and IR is here. They crisscross, but who cares? put them on either side but as long as you got the set properly now let's work our way and make all these right here like e square p is equal to e square divided by r let's find that p e square see right here divided by r check check mark on that see it? See how the, where these are coming from, from this chart, and how you create them, how you mix these two up to make this, okay? E squared divided by P is R. E squared divided by P is it's R, okay? See right there, R? E squared divided by P is R. Check. This one too, okay? And this way, okay, check. And now, if you count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight of them. There's three here, three here, that means six, seven, eight, nine. We're missing one more, right? Simple as that. Okay. P times R. But there's a problem here. You can't just say P times R is equal to E squared. You need E. To get E alone, you got to do the square root. Because this is square, you're going to use the opposite, remember? If you multiply, you divide to get the opposite, right? But if you got square here, you got to use the square root, okay? So the square root of PR equals to E. Got it? You got to understand that, okay? It's very important. P times R, and then you take the square root of it. You just don't square it. Square root, okay? So here we go. Let's find out what E is at. See it right here? P times R, you take the square root, since it's got square up there, you take the square root, the opposite, to get this right here. Here goes another check mark. Okay, now we continue. See, there goes one, two, three, four, five, 
one, two, three, four. You need more, okay? <laughs> because you got three plus three and plus three, okay? So that should be nine. And that's it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. That makes nine. Now we go to the next one. Let's find out what P is. Or make it easier. Let's start with something easier. P divided by I. Duh, it's IR. Can't use that one. You don't want to put it like that in there. So you go P divided. Okay, let's see. P divided by I squared is equal to R. So you isolate this one alone by itself. And you notice that P divided by these two I's right here, the so I times I is like the E times E. Remember, it's E squared? Here is I times I which comes P divided by I squared is this number here, R. So that's why you got here P divided by I squared equals to R. Checked. Okay, we got that puppy right there. And all we need is just about two more. Okay, and th those are these two up here. So I squared times R. What's I squared? Remember this? I and I is I squared, right? And times R gives you this right here, right? There you go. I squared times R. Check on that one. And we all all we got is one more to do. It's P divided by E. Which we skipped before. Which was I. P divided by E is I. Duh. How could I miss that? <laughs> and so easy, right? So that we've done already before, but you must understand the procedure of the divide here and then multiply this way. Okay? We got the last and not the least, which is P divided by R and take the square root of that, okay? P divided by R it's gonna be I square. See it right there? But you just want one I. So you gotta take the square root of it. Got it? P divided by R is I times I. So what you gotta do is take the square root of that. P divided by R square root. And you see it right here, P divided by R is square root. And that the last one there should work. It's just like for the circuit circuit right here. This circuit is the E is for electromagnetic force, which is measuring voltage. R is for resistance, measure, measure in ohms. P is for power, the spatial power from the resistor here that is heating up like crazy. And you want to know what the power is. You don't want to burn the, the uh, resistor or any other component. So you find what it is in wattage. Then you find the current going through it, which is in amperes, A, with a meter there. And that's what all these are, and this is what it gives us. This is the table that we should memorize, and by memorizing these two formulas right here, you could get these. Just practice a little, and it should be fine. This is Luis Diaz, and just write some comment, and I uh, hope to help you. It would help me if I was an electronic technician, which I graduated as a technician, but these are the little things that you need a little push on to understand how to come up with things like this. Alright, cool.